Okay, I gotta get through that skinny gate. So I went up there and flipped a Yui. I'll go in. I gotta get rid of these trees. And then I gotta go clear up there. And uh, we gotta make a ditch flow both directions. Make it flow north and make it flow south. Hang on to your butts for this one. Okay, we're here. Look at all these trees take out. These right next to the power line. That's gonna be fun because I got no room to get behind them. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. That's just gonna suck. Unless I dig out around them and then try to use the power of the swing to push it over, which that ain't gonna work. Oh, and I got a riser over there. Sweet. Huh. I don't know. What am I going to do there? Got any suggestions? It'll be done by the time you see this video, so I'll either <laughs> screw something up, or I don't know. I think I'll get in here and just push them over sideways, I guess. That's all I can do. Anyway, I scratched the road a little. That'll buff out. How do you guys keep track of your time? I met a guy down to Con Expo. They sell a time card keeping app you put on your phones, but it's a monthly subscription. Nobody wants to sell their product anymore. They just want to rent it to you. Okay, I got to get in here with the grader. I just saw a grader flat tire right there. I'm too lazy to go get it. <laughs> so, I'll get it with the thumb. How's that? There we go. Okay, 
This is where you get branches and all kinds of stuff coming down. This is not going to go the way I want it to. gonna try to take this one all in one piece stump and all if I get him doesn't look like he wants to get a little closer so I get some serious pry on him there we go there we go there we go Jim there you go buddy these are dangerous with an excavator I know people who have died doing this Particular, the tree came back on him, came on the cab and smashed it. These cabs are not heavy duty, they are not made to uh, withstand an impact. Okay, she's gonna go, but I want it to. I want it more to go. Yeah, there's a God, there's a riser out there. That's another issue. I'll get that riser, guarantee you. Nope, don't go that way. Oh yeah, right on the fence post where the riser was. Now I gotta be super careful about how I get it out of here. Good morning so I'm just running myself ragged going from job to job uh, the building pad is working on with Petey is pretty much degraded I went over the other day and redheaded it 
with yellow redheads because that's all I had. Customer's done an awesome job spreading the gravel, so I gotta go over and check on that. Matt's clear down there pulling some pipe out of that ditch. And this ditch here, I've got to crawl in it with a 14 and see if I can clean it up. I got all the trees out. Um, later I'll show you down there what we're trying to do here. There's a ditch down there that runs north and south and it's pretty flat. It, it's absolutely flat. It's got a high spot in the middle, but we're going to make it run water both directions. So <laughs> I'll show you when I get up there. It's a complicated deal. So I'm going along the top of this ditch bank and I'm peeling the top off to find all the fence posts, digger links, and whatever other tire problems might be lurking in here. And then I'm going to put uh, one set of wheels down in the ditch and start veeing it out. So hang on to your butts. on the other side I got these fence posts and I got risers there so I think that's going to be virtually impossible to cut that top off but that's going to be bad here on the top end and see if I can pull some of that willows and the saw down. Okay, I told you I'd explain to you what we're doing here. So, 
This ditch is a canal called the Riverside. This ditch comes off a canal called the Dubois, which is a lateral off a bigger canal called the People's Canal. So water comes down this ditch here and it goes on down there, dead ends. And the water from here comes down here, drops down in there, and there's a pipe. And it comes up over on this side, and it feeds that ditch down there. So, um, this pivot, let me, well, let me back up. So, clear across the road over there, there's some pivots. And the guys that own that feedlot over there get their water out of this riverside ditch goes clear down there to the pivot point and then they've buried a line over and it dumps into that ditch over there which comes off the Dubois but they don't own any Dubois water or people's water they own riverside water and the canals won't let them transfer water so it's dead flat across there because you're going north and uh, the pipe's plugged up, ain't gonna work. So this ditch, down there there's a check and the bottom of that concrete measures the same height as the bottom of the ditch here. So this one's flat, but Matt shot it and up through the middle there, there's a spot, a section that's about eight inches high. It's got a hump in it. So what we're gonna do is they want to make this riverside water run in this ditch back down there clear down there where matt's pickup is where there's a check structure and run down that ditch all the way down there across the road and over to these guys pump so in order to do that what it's going to do is this water is going to back up a foot so i need a foot more freeboard on the banks and then it'll come here and we're going to cut a ditch to dump it over in there. I'm reaming this one out. Matt asked me to run a straight line down there. I got down so far and then there's just no more gravel and I got stuck. That's what we're doing if you understand that. When it's, when it's all done, I'll show you what it's going to look like. But this one, thank goodness, has some gravel in it. Up until that big tree there. And then it goes to mud. Guess what? what? 
I'm stuck. <laughs> yes, again. No, I'll just get the chain up here and have you pull me out. Uh, I, you could walk over here and push on my back, but I'm afraid we'd have a disaster if you slipped off the ripper and smashed the back end. Okay. So he'll come down with the finish bucket and do this corner. So the problem I had was, I want to show you here. Um, when you go around a corner, you got to articulate, and that's fine on that outside corner. But when I got to the inside corner to reach, I had to go the other way, which put my wheels down in, and then boom, down I go. So anyway. What a pain. Anyway, the rest of this ditch is just muddy, muddy, muddy. And then I got to get on that bank and see if I can pull as much out of there as I can. But learn my lesson. Don't side shift to the left. It just don't work. Okay, here we go. See if we can do it again.
Okay, Matt's headed back down there to finish that. Um, pulling it through the excavator is just, it's awesome. I mean, I can just plow dirt like a bulldozer. I wish I'd have had him do that the first time we went through, but the banks were so high, I had to get them cut down and winged out. So all I got to do is clean the tops up. He's going to have to go back to these s curves and that was just it's just soup and the wheels made super deep tracks and he's gonna have to clean that out a little bit and i had that one wheel was completely packed with mud earlier it must have fell out So Jake was here today helping us so we could get done with this. We are done. And he came in here where this was super muddy and I got stuck. And he's taking the 336. Cleaned it all up. I've graded the tops clean. Um, anyway, I'm going down to get the excavator. And across the ditch here, I'm going to get the... The standard bucket the digging bucket and try to gather up as many of those Russian olives as I can bring them down here in the burn pile and then we'll come up with the service truck and get the ditching bucket and then Monday morning we'll be here to load up early and get on to the next job geez I got one two i got three more ditch jobs to get done in an extremely short amount of time it's like 80 today it's gonna be warm all next week i don't forecast doesn't say we're gonna get any moisture so people are gonna be screaming for their water it's crazy isn't it Look at the snow on the hills over there still. It's disappearing with this warm weather though. So we'll see what kind of runoff we get. We'll see how dirty the Snake River is when it starts running muddy. And you know the runoff's coming. Anyway, this ditch looks a whole lot better than when I started. Like I say, it's got some grade problems. I think I mentioned that earlier. Somebody got in here with a backhoe or a track hoe. Pretty sure it was a track hoe. And without some grade control or somebody running grade, you dig a lot of holes and then you get silt build up. Anyway, that's enough out of my mouth. I'm just glad to be done. Let's go... Uh, Let's go get the drone and have a bird's eye view. Well, well. 
let me tell you something about the space station. It's only really there in your imagination. That thing ain't real. It's science fiction. It's there to feed your space addiction. Those astronauts are not in space. It's written all over their stupid face. See, I can spot a lie from a hundred miles. And I can spot a fraud from the way they smile. Didn't you learn nothing from the fake moon missing that? Puppet show from President Nixon. Well, listen up, they're doing it again, it seems. Check out the harnesses and green screens. I used to work a lot in film and TV. I know a bit about the television trickery to create the illusion that you're somewhere that you're not. A green screen is what you're gonna use a lot. Or if you wear a harness and attach it to the ceiling, the illusion that you're floating is what they'll be believing. All you're watching is a puppet show, yeah, the whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're actors, of course, and yeah, they all get paid. Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space. No, you're not, you're lying to the human race. So let me tell you something about a zero-G plane This thing flies up and then down again Some weird stuff happens if you're on the inside You start to float as the plane takes a dive Simply add an actor that's trained to deceive And you got yourself an astronaut, or so you believe Plane flies up and that's everyone's cue Then action, we got some deceiving to do Plane flies down and then everyone knows To start the ISS live show Floating in a plane with zero G But you only see astronauts on your TV All you're watching is a puppet show Yeah, the whole world's a stage Astronauts, they're actors, of course And yeah, they all get paid Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space No, you're not, you're lying to the human race Well, another thing I noticed when I looked at these fools They're filming spacewalks in buoyancy pools NASA's gonna tell you that it's just for training To practice for space station maintaining Well, I thought about that, but if that's the case Then why the hell can I see bubbles in space? Take a hard look at the next spacewalk And tell me if you can see bubbles at all Open your eyes, man, I'll bet you a quarter. Those spacewalks are filmed underwater. I can see space bubbles everywhere. Hey, NASA, how the hell did those get there? All you're watching is a puppet show. Yeah, the whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're actors, of course, and yeah, they all get paid. Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space. No, you're not, you're lying to the human race. So when you see an astronaut aboard the ISS, take another look at your TV set. They're pretty good at faking, so you gotta look close. Pay some attention to the way the actor floats. If you ask me, that ain't zero gravity, but Hollywood effects that I see on my TV. Take a good look at the whole damn thing. These lying bastards are just puppets on a string. It's all a big science fiction puppet show. The game's up, assholes, cause we all know. Thanks for the show, NASA. It's been a blast. Now take your fake station and shove it up your... All you're watching is a puppet show. Yeah, the whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're actors, of course. And yeah, they all get paid. Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space. No, you're not, you're lying to the whole human race. All you're watching is a puppet show. Yeah, the whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're just actors, of course. And yeah, they all get paid. Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space. No, you're not, you're lying to the whole human race, man. All you're watching is a puppet show. Yeah, the whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're actors, of course, and yeah, they all get paid. Look at me, ma, I'm floating in space. No, you're not, you're lying to the whole human race. All you're watching is a puppet show, yeah, the whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're just actors, of course, and yeah, they all get paid. Uh.
been talking to myself all this time. Didn't know it. Thank <laughs> you.